On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this. You have video in text, and then you have some video in text with animation. And then finally, we're going to have video in text with animation that actually zooms in just like what we have here. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this within Shotcut. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. Creating this video in text effect is something I think a lot of people would like to do in their video. But at the same time, maybe they think that it's very complex to do. At least I did before I learned how to do it. So here I'm going to show you with just a few filters how you're going to be able to do this in Shotcut. And at the same time, add some animation to make it a little bit fun. So the first thing you want to do is you want to drag down your video clip down to your project timeline. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to add a track above it. So make sure your track is selected, right click on your mouse, go to track operations, and you can either add a video track or just insert track. So now we have a track above it. And you could also do this by going here. Same operations are available. So once you have your track above your original video clip below it, make sure this new track is selected. And now I'm going to show you how you can add the text in two ways, but I'm going to focus on the main first way because I think it's going to be a lot easier for people just starting out. And so once you have this clip selected, go up here to open other, go to color and just say, okay. So now you have this black screen. So make sure your mouse is in this area and then just drag it down here to your brand new track. And then once you drag it down here, you now have your color clip. We're going to go ahead and select that and go to filters, go to the plus sign and then look for text. And now we have simple text right there. And we now have our text on top of our video. Now, another way you could do this, let's just say we want to add it right here. You could go to open other and then text. You could type in the text that you want. So in this case, this is the text I'm going to use. And then here, once you see it, make sure your mouse is in this area. So anywhere in this box, drag it down here. And so now your text is in here. The only difference with doing it in these two different ways is that whenever you do it this way, the text is already large. And so you don't have to adjust it. Whereas if you have it this way, even though it makes it easier for you to combine two steps in one, you have to adjust the text as well. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to stick with this method where it's two main steps. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Now we could actually add our cool video and text effect. And so I would say the first thing you want to do is make sure this is centered. The easiest way to do that is go to vertical fit, click on middle, and now it's in the middle. And then the next thing you want to do is add your text, type in whatever you want. So I'm going to add that text and I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to use this Anton bold. Say OK. And you can adjust this size or move it around if you like as well. So it's really up to you what you want to do with it. But I'm just going to leave it right here. And now we're going to go ahead and add our video in text effect. So once you have your clip here, the text that you want, we could go ahead and go here to our plus sign. And then we're going to go ahead and look for chroma key. Or in this case, just chroma and choose chroma key simple. So now your chroma key is below your text. And here on the key color, you want it the same color as your text. So just go ahead and use this uh, drop right here. So it's color picker. And now choose the color white. And what it's done is it's effectively added a chroma key. So this portion that's white has chroma key and the rest has black underneath it. And so now you have a chroma key. And now we have our video in text. So it's a very simple one. But as you can see, we have our video and it's within the text that you just created. Now there's some other things you could do here. You could go back up to your text and obviously you could go back and change the font, but you could also change the outline. So in this case, the outline color is black. So it blends in with the black background, but I'm going to go ahead and change that to red. Let's just choose this color. And if you notice here, there's also thickness. I have it as three. So you could decrease it if you want or you can increase the thickness so then it's just a lot more visible or maybe it looks better with your video clip. And there's other things you can do here. You can change the padding, background and so forth. 
and also the dimensions and positions as we showed a little bit earlier. But I'm going to keep it simple and leave it as it is. So now if I actually watch this video, there's my video. There's my video in text on that clip. And at the same time, you can adjust this clip. You could resize it. You can move it around. Or maybe you want to make duplicates of it. So we'll go ahead and control C. So we'll copy this clip. And then you could paste it. And you know you can make any adjustments you need. So you can show it multiple times. So it's really up to you. So that's the very first and easiest way to add video and text. So if you're okay with this, then you're done. And it only took like two filters and a few steps. Very easy to do. So now on the next part of this, I'm going to be showing you how to add some animation to your video in text effect. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So adding animation to your video and text effect can be as simple as you want or as advanced as you want. So it really depends on what you want to do and it's all going to involve keyframes. And so if you're not certain on how to use keyframes on this video, I'm going to show you the simple way. But if you wanted to get more in depth on keyframes, I did create an entire video tutorial on how to do this. And I'll leave that in the description area below. And so first thing you want to do is make sure that your clip is selected. I have it selected. And now we're going to add another filter. So we'll go ahead and go to the plus sign and we're going to add the size, position and rotate filter. So once you have that selected, we're going to go into keyframes. Now you can go into keyframes a few ways. So we have our keyframes tab down here. So now we're in our keyframes. And if you don't see the tab, you could go up here to your keyframes button up here. Or if you don't see that, you could go up here to view and then go to keyframes. Now, one of the things that I like to do to make things a little bit easier, because whenever you're using keyframes, it sometimes really helps for you to see both the timeline and the keyframes at the same time. So what you can do is, uh, make sure you go up here to keyframes and then drag it down here. So you notice now that it's separated. So we have our keyframes on the left and our project timeline on the right. And if for some reason you want to go back to the tab view, you could simply put your mouse over here and then drag it into the timeline until you see it like that. And now it's going back to what it was before where it's separated in the tabs. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to do it the other way. So it's easier to see. All right. So now we have our keyframes here on the left and our project timeline on the right. And so once you have that, let me show you the first and easiest way to do this. Okay. And then I'm going to show you one that's going to be a little bit more advanced whenever we want to do like a zoom effect. So in this case, all I want to do is a simple left to right animation. So I'm going to go here to size position and rotate filter and go here to seek backwards. So now it's at the very beginning of the clip. And the great thing with this filter is there's already some pre-built uh, defaults of animation. Okay, so here there's some presets. So I'm going to go ahead and slide in from the left and make sure your filter selected. So it is checked now. So let's go ahead and check this out. We'll play it and boom, it slides in from the left to right. So let's go ahead and watch that again. Slides in from the left to right. Now, the only thing that you probably noticed was you have this black background, you know, behind the text is what we had before, but that doesn't look really good. You know, you want it to come in without this whole black box. Okay. You want this whole thing to be black. Okay. So the way in which you do that is you go down here to your size, position and rotate filter. And if you notice here on background color, you could choose a different background color. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this and I'm going to choose black. Say select. So now if we go back up here, let's watch this again. There it is. So we now have our animation left to right. And at the same time, the entire background is black. So you don't have that really weird look where you have a black background around your text. And so that's the very first and easiest way for you to add some animation uh, because Shotcut has provided a whole bunch of great presets for you under the size position or rotate filter. There's a lot here available to you. Super easy to do. So now let's go ahead and look at the final one where we're going to add our own animation. So we're going to still use the same filter, but in this case, we're going to use more of the keyframes feature that's available in Shotcut. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. 
and we'll paste it right here so that we don't have to redo everything so I'm gonna go back to the size position rotate filter and what I'm gonna go do here is go back to defaults so now you know it doesn't have any animation it just shows up and we already have our black background color so all I need to do now is actually add the keyframe so what I wanted to do is uh, come in really small and then zoom bigger okay so we're going to do that by using our keyframes here. So I'm going to go back here to the very beginning. And then what I want to do is I want it to be this size at the end. So this is the end goal. You want it to be this size or maybe you want it to be larger, whatever you want to do. But we're going to keep it simple. At the end, I want it to look like this. OK, so now that we know that we want to try to figure out where do we want this to show up. So I want it to be like that at this point. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, um, go up here to our filter and go ahead and use keyframes so once you do that you'll notice that there is another track below it so this is the more advanced keyframe so you see this red dot so now it's added a keyframe at this position and so the next thing you could do is you could go back to the beginning okay so go here seek to previous keyframe or actually you go here to previous uh, go backwards and so now you're at the beginning keyframe so now we're going to add a keyframe here so what I want to do here is I want it to be super small. So we go ahead and adjust this size and, you know, move it around. And you could be as precise as you want. You can use these dimensions here, but in this case, I'm just keeping it super simple. Okay. And if you notice here, it's actually added a keyframe at the beginning. So now if we actually watch this, let's see how this looks like. We have our zoom in animation. So that was really easy to do once you figure out how to use the keyframes that's available. And you can adjust this however you need it later. Uh, just make sure that you're in the right filter, the size position and rotate filter. So in this case, uh, you can move around from keyframe to keyframe here. And then say, for example, I wanted to adjust this even more. Let's just say you wanted to make it bigger, right? I just keep making it super huge like this, okay? So now let's see how this looks like. Boom, even bigger. <laughs> and, you know, just as before, you can adjust this clip so you can lengthen this. So it stays with this video and text a lot longer or throughout the whole video, whatever you want. And as you can see, creating this video and text is fairly simple overall. And then adding some animation to your videos, you can use the presets there. Or you could spend more time adding more advanced animations, you know, and you could really have a lot of fun with this just by playing around, trying different things. So that is it on this video on how to add a video in text effect. And at the same time, add some really fun animation, uh, just add some more creativity to your videos. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave this in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.